I'm Catherine Caroli, and I'd like to talk about preparing Debussy's Afternoon of Buffon for auditions. The first thing that comes up at the beginning is whether or not to play the excerpt in one breath. My answer to that depends. If you can play musically with the artistry that is valuable to you and not have to breathe, fantastic. But if you feel like you have to give that up in order to play in one breath, then I don't think it's worth it. I recommend taking the breath after the last beat, but if you find that you're still running out by then, you can take it in the second measure after the G natural. It's important in this excerpt to not have the vibrato sticking out at the beginning or on the C sharps. You definitely have place for more vibrato in the third measure, but I think also even the last note should have very little vibrato. Notice that the crescendo goes to the B in the third measure, not to the G sharp. Check your pitch carefully. If you play a C sharp drone on the tuner an octave below your first note and match your C sharps and your high G sharp and low G sharp to that drone, that should give you a good sense as to whether you're playing in tune with yourself. Um, as far as tempo goes, I think something around 80 is probably a good tempo with uh, rubato fluctuations. I like to slow down a little bit at the end of the first measure, and then I like to really move through the third measure, and then of course, of course slow down at the end. example of some kind of rubato. Make sure that your 16th and 16th note triplets are clearly differentiated and um, make sure that you are making an obvious crescendo to the B. It's important to also to work on the first note attack that doesn't have an accent to it. When we get to number two, you generally will have to play louder um, because you're competing with the orchestra accompanying you. Same things apply in terms of the making sure that your 16th and 16th note triplets are differentiated. Um, I'm going to play it and you can hear where I breathe. Those are my breaths of choice. Other things to pay attention to are the rubato. And just for example, at the end of the second measure, I find it really helpful to think in 16th notes to know exactly how much to slow down. that um, in the fourth measure of two. I like to do a big color change there and take a lot of time. And then it's important that you're full of sound but not forcing the sound at all three measures before three. important to go on <clears throat> excuse me um, so a couple of other things make sure your last note actually has eight eighth note beats to it there's sometimes uh, a misprint in that bar 
and uh, make sure you're subdividing in the second to last bar because I hear rhythm get maligned a lot. And in that bar and in the second bar after two, make sure your vibrato is really kept inside the sound um, and that it doesn't wobble too much. You can be quite free in this measure and this one. So there's a lot of freedom in this excerpt. It's so beautiful. It does take an immense amount of control, um, but it's I think is such a such a beautiful thing to play by itself and also in the orchestra. So I hope that's helpful. Feel free to ask questions or give me comments or make requests at katherinecavoli at gmail.com. Thank you.